Memorial Scholarship. The Wendell Phillips Memorial Scholarship is one of two prize scholarships, the other being assigned to Harvard University, which were established in 1896 by the Wendell Phillips Memorial Fund Association in honor of Boston's great preacher and orator. The award is given annually to the junior or senior who has best demonstrated both marked ability as a speaker and a high sense of public responsibility. We now welcome the 2013 Wendell Phillips speaker, Kristen Ford. my 
efforts and I asked a few people and one thing everyone told me was to speak from experience. One experience in particular stuck out to me. As all of you know now, Boston weather can be fickle, <laughs> to say the very least. Usually it's just annoying. But this year, we got a couple good snow days out of it, so I was like, cool, we cool. <laughs> but one snowstorm in particular, I went outside to go sledding with my friends on the president's lawn. Thanks, President Bob, though. <laughs> the lawn's great. <laughs> and the snow was legit up to here. And I, you know I'm short, so I thought I was going to drown. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> and so here I am, stepping through these huge walls of snow. The snow is seeping into my boots, Payless boots at that. So, as you can imagine, my feet were devastated. I felt, and I just felt some type of way when everybody and their mama was using the path I just cleared. <laughs> At the time, I'm going to be honest, I was cold and bitter. But after I had a minute to fall out, I was able to see the huge parallels this situation had to my experience in the engineering school. I've been the only girl in many classes and the only African-American in nearly every class. At the beginning of my Tufts career, I was angry. I was angry because I felt that there was something I had to prove. I was angry because I felt that I had to be the one to always be uncomfortable. Then I took a closer look at the path I'd chosen to follow. Whether I knew it or not at the time, my path had been made that much easier because someone before me decided to be uncomfortable. Someone before me saw that the snow was up to here, but didn't wait for society to clear the way and make things easier. Someone decided to be the first person of color at Tufts. Someone else decided to be the first woman from Jackson College to set foot inside the engineering building. Someone before me made a path for someone like me so I could further pave the way for someone who doesn't even know me yet. Someone made it possible for me to stand here before you today. And I literally get goosebumps when I think about how maybe, just maybe, I'm doing that for someone else. For many of us, it is inevitable that in order to reach our destination, we'll have to trudge through uncomfortable situations. But don't shy away from those opportunities but rather take pride in knowing that your footprint could be the thing that made someone else's dream possible. Be a trailblazer 2013. Be all that the world or maybe even you said you could never be. My first semester slash year, I did not do too well academically. Just gonna get that out there. <laughs> One class in particular was especially devastating. I just remember halfway through the semester praying, God, Please let this professor drop the lowest five grades. <laughs> Finally, I went to my professor's office hours to express my concern. To which he replied, well, not everybody's cut out for this. Maybe it's just not the right field for you. For a minute, I almost accepted that. And then I heard something that caught my attention. I was in church one Sunday, and the pastor read a scripture from Psalms, which simply says, the stone the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. At the time, I was like, look, you've been preaching for two hours. Sit down. <laughs> it is over. <laughs> you can't keep us here. <laughs> but the more I thought about it, the deeper it sounded. The very stone that was rejected by the people in charge was now the very thing holding everything together. I was that student who was quote unquote in over my head. I was that student. I was that student, professors that wouldn't make it past sophomore year in the engineering school. And I'm also that student who was graduating from the engineering school. Together. 
Tomorrow, we'll embark on a new phase of our lives. For some of us, everything will go...